We are still going to continue with the CSS box model. But in this video, I'm going to let you know about the difference between the padding and the margin CSS property. Now let's go over to our web page quickly. Now this is our web page here. Now you can see in our last video we created a border all, all around of our web page. We created this green border. Now let's just remove that. It doesn't really look good, so let's remove it. it doesn't look good at all. So let's go over to our style sheet in the body. So let's just get rid of this. And also, let's go back to our web page now. We created them. Um, um, you can see down here this space. This is there is too much space here, so I want to reduce this space a little bit. So let's go over to our style sheet once again. That's for our para five, and let's remove the margin for the margin top. Let's reduce this to thirty to thirty pixels. Now let's refresh now on our web page. And now the space is now the space now is more. It's now okay. So. Now let's talk about this uh, the difference between this CSS margin and padding. So we'll be working against this. Um, we'll be creating a box model for this inline style here, for this para three box model for this one. Okay. So now let's go back to our um, to our index of HTML. Now you can see we if you, if you if you notice here we gave it an inline style color of red. So we are going to remove this. We are going to take this. We are going to put uh, take this to our um, external style sheet here. So we are going to remove this. But as first, let's um, let me give you this uh, the difference between the um, uh, padding and the margin. So now since we gave this a class of para tree, so now let's go. We gave it a class of para tree over here. Don't forget that this. Look at this class here. We gave it a class of para tree. Here. Yeah. So now we're going to take this class to our external so CSS. Now down here, say dot para tree. And we're going to give this a background color of yellow. We're going to give this a background color of yellow. Now let's refresh this on our web page. Now you can see we have a background color of yellow. Now let's give this a, a let's give this a pad. Remember, we want to we want to um, create a, a, a box model here. So don't forget that. So let's give this a just just like how we did in others. Let's give this a um, a padding. Now I want to show you the difference here between the padding and the mar and the margin. So when you say padding, let's give it, let's give this a padding of forty pixels. I want you to see this now. It's a, um, let's go back to our web page now. Let's refresh this. I want you to see this now. now did you see that padding? Now for the CS for the CSS padding, you can see that the padding is only working inside the box. This is the space. You can see the space here. The padding is only occurring inside the box. You can see that now. But as for the margin, now let me give you an example of the margin now. Now for the margin, you come down here and we say margin. Let's also give this a margin of 40 pixels. Margin 40 pixels. And now if we refresh this now, I want you to see the changes now that will occur here. Let's refresh. Now you can see, did you see that margin? Did you see the margin? This is you can see the space here. Now the, for the margin, the margin is happening outside of the box. But for the padding, the padding is happening inside of the box. But for the margin, you can see it's outside. You can see this, this bigger space now. You can see the bigger space all around of our box. You can see the spaces here. You can see the spaces here, including even here by the right hand side. You can see the spaces here. So for the padding, when you see padding, the padding occur inside of inside of inside of the box. For the margin, the margin occur outside. So that is the difference between the margin, the CSS margin and padding. So let's go back to our index of HTML. Let's take that style. Let's remove this inline style. So we gave it a style of color red and the font style of um, and the font style of twenty pixels. So let's just remove this style quickly here. So we gave it a font style of 20 pixels 
and the color of red so let's go down here the font style no sorry not style font size the font size of 20 pixels and the color of red a font size of 20 pixels on a color of red so let's refresh this now it will, it will still be the same now it's still the same so everything is working so that is the difference between the css margin and padding for the margin the margin is only happening outside of the content but for the padding the padding is happening inside of the content so that is what you need to know about the css margin and padding so that yeah that will be it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next video